Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today is February 2nd, 2023. I'm sorry for not having a couple of readings come up in the last couple of days, um, but we're going to we're gonna get back on the train, get back on to reading daily readings from the Bible, well, passages from the Bible. So um, today's a feast of the presentation to the Lord, first reading, okay, thus says the Lord God. Oh, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fueler's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The second reading is from Hebrews two fourteen through 18 since the children share in blood and flesh jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who was the power of death who has the power of death that is the devil and free those who through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life surely he did not help angels but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. Luke 2.32 Alleluia, Alleluia. Light of revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. And the final reading today is from the Gospel of Luke 2, 14. Oh, I'm going to do just the first one. When the days were completed for the purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon. That man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. He had been revealed to I mean it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, the child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and your and you yourself a sword will pierce so that's the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed so the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed there was also a prophetess anna the daughter of pauline I, i'm probably saying that wrong of the tribe of asher she was advanced in years having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer, and coming forward at the, that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the proper prescriptions, 
of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their, their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. I love these stories about our Lord and Savior. It's just so amazing. I'm very thankful for him and what he's done for us. And I'm thankful for all of you that are listening and everyone that's not listening either. <laughs> anyway, peace be with you all. I hope you like these daily readings. I hope it, it brought lots of meaning to you. This is the living word and it can help us in so many different ways. It, it can apply to things going on in our life. And it's amazing. Because um, I'll have things going on. And I'll just do a reading. And that reading will have a lot of parallels with stuff that are happening to me. That That's somewhat what we're talking about with it being living word. Somewhat. But um, Jesus has promised, and what he's done for us, that is the greatest thing. Anyway, peace be with you all. I hope you have a good Thursday, and have a blessed day.